It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each week we bring you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. Screwing up is not always the greatest feeling in the world. It often means that we have failed at something, we've goofed something up, we've made a mistake, something has gone a little bit wonky. And by natural human default, we associate messing up with we have failed and we suck. It's often a negative feeling that makes us want to hide, we feel shameful, we feel like why did I even try this in the first place? Here it is again. But here's where the sharp right turn comes into play. When you're messing up, you're actually leveling up. We don't learn when everything is going perfectly amazing, do we? No, I don't think so. We learn when things are screwing up, when something has gone crazy off budget, or it's eaten up a ton of your time, or it just didn't go as smoothly as you expected, or you just completely dropped the ball. It's in those moments where we have messed something up that we are able to pivot and say, what went wrong? And how can I make it better? You see, messing up is nothing more than an opportunity to learn. Because guess what, guys? Everyone messes up. Literally everyone on the planet has made a mistake or 10,000 mistakes at some point in their journey. Yet we want to idolize all the successes, all the good things, all the great stories that you hear. Well, you know what? We're just plopping in on those people's stories We're coming into the final chapter or the shining moments, not the part of the journey where they were screwing up and crying at 2 a.m. because I didn't know how they were going to deal with it. This week, I want you to take your power back by embracing your mistakes. I'd like you to start viewing those as opportunities to make a change. How can you start to flip your perspective and your emotions around the things that are not going great? I make a lot of mistakes, I'm, and I'm not sorry about that because it's in those mistakes that I'm able to fix things and prevent future mistakes. And you know what? Every level of business, it's so much like parenthood. I know I say this all the time, but it really truly is. You raise a, an infant, you didn't know what you were doing, and you learned how to do it, and then no sooner did you have a toddler who's running around like a chicken with their head cut off, and you learn how to do that, and there were mistakes, and it wasn't perfect. Business is the exact same way. You no sooner get through one phase of learning how to do something, and then you're challenged with something new. But if you're not learning, then you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're not reaching your maximum potential. We recently hosted a leadership event. And at the end of the event, looking back, I could see how many different areas there were that we messed up as individuals, as teammates, through partnerships, there were just so many areas, it started to grow so much that we lost sight of some of the details and the processes and how to communicate. So through this experience and looking back, we had a team meeting, we came together, we literally whiteboarded on the wall, what worked, what didn't work, what needs to change. We got together with our partners and talked about how we need to streamline things. And guess what? The next one, we're already a step ahead. It's coming together a lot more smoothly. And there's an intense amount of opportunity on this side now, because guess what? We're not going to repeat those mistakes. To know what those mistakes were in the first place, we had to go through them. We had to feel the pain of them. We had to understand how it impacts our bottom line, how it impacts our relationships. And now moving forward, we know what not to do. And each one can grow stronger and stronger. To know how to handle that bigger client next year or the year after, you have to work through some of the kinks of the smaller clients now. To understand how to speak on a larger stage, you have to work through the kinks of speaking at smaller local events now. To know what's going to work, you have to be willing to fail. Let it go. Bless and release, one of my mentors says to me all the time. Bless and release. The most important part of this, other than acknowledging that mistakes are part of the process, is let yourself feel the emotions, 
dissect it and understand what it is and why it caused pain, and then move. It's when you sit in the misery or you sit in the feeling of I have failed that you lose the momentum of your forward moving action. And remember, mistakes are actually pretty incredible because that means that you're just on the cusp of a growth. Join me next week on the Gutsy Podcast for the shame eliminator. Okay, guys, Amy Taylor is one of the coolest humans that I have ever met. And she works with women who have stagnated their growth, isolated themselves, and disconnected from living due to the past shameful experiences that they have gone through. This one is just mind-blowing. Until then, follow the Gutsy Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. And for more business insights, follow me personally on Instagram at that Laura Aura. See you next time. Thank you.